What's good, hey fam? Today we have South Park Season 4, Episode 7, titled Chef is Nana's. I, would, I thought of trying a different approach for this video with the full screen and the video on the side. Like I had back in the older days. So yeah, I thought I would give that a try. If you guys don't like it, we can go back to the way it was. But yeah. Also, this episode got requested a couple months ago, but I never got around to watching it. But here we are. You know, I like Chef. Probably one of my favorite characters. Easily in the top five for me. You know who number one is? The rest of the spots are interchangeable, but Chef is definitely among them. So yeah, let's just get watched. Right into it. let's just get right into this episode gentlemen i understand you are here to present both sides of an issue i want to hear you both out and do this in a civil and constructive manner so that i can give you both the time and attention you deserve jimbo why don't you begin there it's about the south park flag oh jesus christ not this again we what cannot about the change flag? the south park flag i haven't actually there. seen the flag I, said before, I find that flag to be racist and insensitive okay and why i would like to see it if i, I haven't seen it or i don't remember seeing it. That flag represents a time when blacks were persecuted by whites. How can a black man not be bothered by it? All True. Right, Chef, I'll have my Nothing assistants hold up the flag. Facts. And you tell but me what, what exactly you find racist about it. Okay, let's see. Jesus Christ, that's crazy. You don't see anything wrong with that flag? I see Chef, all kinds of things wrong with that flag. Cleveland Indians, huh? Should they change their name because it's racist? Yeah. No, <laughs> because it's their history. Look, I have gone through every quiet protest I could. I've written everyone. I agree with Chef time. on this one. But now Especially I'm the you, this way flag that flag looks. Changed. And I'm telling you it won't. Oh boy. This is two sides of an argument. But I don't see how you can think that flag is anything Some but racist. Some people think the South Park flag should be changed, while others believe that changing the flag is wrong. I think this is a perfect subject for your debate club. Ah. I mean, there's no interpretation or different meaning you can have for that flag. And apparently the winner of all your debates so far has been Cartman. Oh. Right. Cartman doesn't always win. He just gets pissed off and goes home so we can't debate anymore. Yeah. yeah. Seems like a Cartman a thing to do. Than you, guys. you don't even know what you're debating about half the time. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Oh, yeah? Well, screw you guys. I'm going home. That'll be a catchphrase. And he, he all right, proved children. your well, point, unlike Mr. sir. Garrison, I want you all to go out and research this debate before we pick teams. Tomorrow you'll need to choose which side of this poignant debate you're on. Okay. I'm on Chef's side on this one. I don't think there should be any other side. You can never expect to have a future. Nowadays, everyone wants to change mascots and flags because they're not politically correct. But where does it end? Those are completely different things. How can you think of things other than racist when you look really at that flag? But to really understand the South Park flag's importance, you need to know about South Park's history. Ned here's a big history buff, and he can tell you the whole story. Okay, Ned? let me hear them. In 1867, the history. pioneers from the East Coast traveled across the plains. Uh, that, that's okay, dude. Yeah, I'm good on that, Chief. You can keep those history facts to yourself. Sign up to join me! As I march into the mayor's office in protest of the South Park flag. Where do I sign? You see that, children? Nobody wants to get involved. Randy, sign up to march with me against the South Park flag on Wednesday. Oh, uh, look, and Chef, plus, you know, any I'm not side racist, buses is on his arm. I just don't I'm really feel strongly well. one way or another about the flag. Well, all right, March. You're entitled to your own opinion. That's how it is in this town. We'll march with you, Chef. That's nice, but I need the support of some registered voters. Hey, Mackie, sign up to march on Wednesday? Ooh, Wednesday? Wednesday's <laughs> tough, I guess. Maybe I could do something uh, Thursday afternoon. All right, fudge it Thursday. Anyone else want to go Thursday? Sure. Uh, I like how people are doing biddings for what time? Next Sunday. You mean during the ball game? Oh, yeah, we can't do Sunday. Monday? Oh, I can't do Monday. This is crazy. So far, this is an amazing episode. Saturday is perfect for me. Yeah, how about Saturday at 11.30? Oh, yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, that sounds good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's the best day. <laughs> okay, on Saturday we march. Ooh, and no one's going to show up, watch. For? To bring down the South Park flag. Oh, oh, I got it. Wow, well, they the all theater. left. I like marching. There's no way they all left. And it looks like about half of you think the flag should stay, and half think the flag should be changed. Now I'm going to assign the debate leaders. Who wants to lead the flag should stay the way it is, team? Me, 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 Stan, how could you be so insensitive? Why is Wendy's voice like a chipmunk in this episode? Jesus, I sound. 
squeaky voice. Now who wants to lead the flag should be changed team? <laughs> okay, Wendy and Eric can team up. Damn. <laughs> Better rivals have to team up now. Hello, Chef. My name isn't Chef anymore, children. I've converted to Islam. Islam. Oh, oh, right. From now on, my name is Abdul Muhammad Jabbar Rauf Karim. Ali. Yeah, I'm not gonna Whatever remember all that. Sensitive about the flag. So I'll just call you I Abdul find it no from now on. No fitting to use my slave name. Well, we need help with our debate club. We have to explain why we think the flag should not be changed. You what? You don't think they should change the flag? Not really. Yeah, we don't see what the big deal is. Well, that figures you don't. I it mean, they are children. Crack ass parents turn you into little cracker ass cracker racists. Yep. I never thought I'd live to see this many of the people I considered friends turn against me. But Chef, we don't know what you're talking about. What nothing? These people are just ignorant. You have to teach them. Ignorance is bliss. Apparently in South Park as well. Now my plan is to divide up into three research teams. We will present our argument based on things that- It's okay, I'm here. We were just discussing how we should state our case. We will need to attack Stan and Kyle's credibility. What? Mm. That's how you win these things. Attack your opponent's credibility. Butters, take okay. some kids and go dig up whatever dirt you can on Kyle's past. I'm talking booby magazines, whatever. I don't think the people would care about that. I mean, I know there was something criminal. I don't think they care about those kinds of magazines. We can't just attack Stan and Kyle's credibility. We need to present our side of the debate. You're right. We'll need to look like we've prepared a case too so that they look all the weaker. Good plan. So, what's the issue again? The South Park flag! It doesn't even know the issue. And what side are we on? Ah! Whoa, calm down, ho. <laughs> there's no way he there's no way he called her that. That's a lie. Earlier today, the South Park townspeople voiced their opinion. Well, I think the flag is racist, but then again, it is part of our history. Well, I guess the flag is part of history, but I can see how it is racist. So was Hitler. So you're saying he's not racist? Well, one thing's Change for sure. Tensions are high Change and pressure is mounting on the Change South Park mayor to do Change something. In the 1960s, there was a monk who set himself on fire to protest. Why? I you remember that. Why no choice. against the to machine cover your art? Lack of humanity, I will now do the same thing. Jesus, you don't have to go that Oh, Okay, I was going to say, you didn't have to go that far, but uh, that was kind of crazy too, but... At least it wasn't you. Hello, brother. We are here to support your noble cause. Damn, that's crazy. Uh, uh, hey, now. We don't want your support. We're not racist. This is about history. Yeah. Well, whether you want our support or not, we're on your side. Are these the same people from Here Comes the Neighborhood? Right power! Right power! Mr. Power, Garrison, power, you're a clan power. member? No, no, but Mr. Hat is. What oh, power, that makes sense. Right power! Oh, you're <laughs> such a racist bastard, Mr. Hat. <laughs> Mr. Gauss and such a great character, man. We realize that you find the South Park flag racist, and we certainly understand your case. We have been working diligently on this problem, put in a lot of hours, and we have finally altered the flag in a way that we think will make you okay, very let's happy. Okay, let's hear it. Gentlemen? Isn't that the same? Yeah, is that better? Thing? No, damn it. No, but look, he's got a little smile now. Oh, sure, that's See, great. He's happy. Much better, don't you think? Yeah, piss smiling while being hanged. What a well, some people just flag. won't work with you at all. This is getting out of hand. How do I absolve myself of any responsibility with this? Mayor, the Don't South do Park anything? Elementary children are Seems discussing like the flag issue in their debate club on Friday. We could use the debate as an excuse to hold a vote on the issue. Yes, of course. Let the children be responsible. Blame the children. What a great idea. It says here that recently a case was brought before the South Carolina courts about their flag. Eh? I warn you, Bog Monster. Do not mock Captain Candy Cone. Oh, yeah? How would you like I should kick you in the nuts? If we could show a parallel between the South Carolina uh, case... Oh, yeah? I'll kick you in the nuts. Why don't you just go home? You aren't helping any. You won't let me you because you're stupid and you're a racist. Touché. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I like that you didn't even deny it. Tell me what to do and I'll That's do nice. it. Wendy, let Cartman help, seriously. Wendy, seriously. That's Bug funny as hell. <laughs> At least he got a chuckle out of her. How many my dad's mints are you gonna eat? Jesus. <laughs> I know your family's poor, but you can't just eat an entire bowl of mints for dinner. <laughs> I don't think we stand a chance in this debate because Wendy's leading the other side. Dude, you're just saying that because she's your girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, you can have a drink of water. The dispenser's over there. Yeah, you must be thirsty after eating 60 mints. 60 mints? Kenny ate all the mints, Dad. Oh, those weren't mints. Those were antacid tablets. Oh. What the hell is that? Kenny! Never even heard of the lats. Jesus. That's something out of Willy Wonka. 
Of course, I all off. Do not change the flag. It is a symbol of white power. White power! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Chef. Mr. Hat is a racist son of a bitch. Don't apologize for me to that spear chucker. Wow. What? Did you call him? How can That's you all crazy. just stand by and let these racists do this? Well, Chef, it's freedom of speech. We don't like it, but we can't arrest them for talking. Here's what some people think. Well, I think they are racist. But I do think freedom of speech is important. Yeah, you can't really do anything unless that is private property and someone asks them to leave. On Friday, South Park Elementary will present a debate, and after the debate, there will finally be a vote. Preliminary polls but show City three Hall in should favor be of changing the flag, property, three right? against changing the flag, and 4,382 undecided. So the pressure is on those South Park kids. Well, that's enough rallying for this afternoon, members. Let's take a hot shower. Hot shower, hot shower. Together? I can't believe it. All the pressure's on us. I mean, this debate is going to actually affect the outcome of the vote. Uh -huh. Oh man, we've got to come up with rebuttals. I think for Cartman's just, just here for the Oreos. Huh? I mean, Germany was united under swastika, right? But obviously, history wasn't as important as changing the views after the war and stuff, so they changed it. That's a pretty good point, Cartman. Yeah. Not bad at all. I'm gonna make that our first argument. Okay. Double stuffed cookies are my favorite. What the hell is happening? Is I like to take the tops off of two cookies and then put them together and make quadruple stuff. I'll add a couple hey, now. Hey, that's what I always do too. No way. Yeah. Jesus, I never thought I'd have anything in common with you, Cartman. Me neither. GG. <laughs> At the end of this episode. Well, anyway, let's get back to work. Well. <laughs> yeah, this is another dimension or something. Another well, timeline. First, we talk about the history of the flag. We can show that the... Jesus. I guess it does kind of make sense. Because if you hate someone that much, you probably have deep feelings for them. Let's be honest. And I might get elected. Well, good for you, puppet pants. I'll have nothing to do with it. I'm going whether you like it or not. Oh, yeah? I'm not going, Mr. Hat, and that's final. Let's just see you try and go without me. Jesus. Sometimes in the show, I don't know what's real or not. So you're telling me that thing, that suck puppet just left? Our first order of business tonight is to have Brother Anderson update us on last week's minutes. Last week we decided we hate blacks and Jews. A lot. All right. And now it's time for us all to come together and do our cake raffle. Oh, oh, cake oh, cake oh. Raffle. What the hell? This what kind of winner is meeting is this? Uh, two nine seven four. I won! I won! I won the cake. What kind of cake, lemon wine? What in the? Uh... This just okay. It would be is like weird. This oh, Isn't he friends with your boyfriend? Damn, that's kind of crazy. <sighs> it's okay. Get a grip, girl. Wendy, Wendy. You can't trust anyone these days, Please can you? Don't let this be happening. As you know, this fine city is holding a vote on whether or not to change their flag. But lynching minorities is history, so what are we gonna do about it? Let's say that if they change the flag, we'll burn down the Capitol! January 6th? Let's say they should change the flag! Uh, uh, what's that, brother? I think we should switch sides. Me too. That's a good idea. Look! We have to accept the fact that most people in the world hate us, right? He's playing chess moves. Now everyone will join his chef side, so then he can get his way. That worked perfectly, man. All right, well, now that that's out of the way, it is time to play Who's Got the Silliest Thing on Under Their Robe? No, Diddy? <laughs> what kind of party is this? <laughs> That is the most insane thing I've ever seen. I can't believe those people are on our side. I mean, is our side that crazy? Yes. Oh, hello, Chef. Big debate tomorrow, I guess. Oh, Jesus, the rope, Chef. This isn't what it looks Take like. Take a picture. What a foreign speckling. This whole cracker-ass town can kiss my ass. You could have got in your way if you just Ned, took a photo. I'm starting to think that maybe history ain't worth defending sometimes. 
I mean, I could have told you that. There's something to tell you. Sure, what? And I'm not even versed like that in American history. Ah! That reaction was predictable. I can't concentrate, and if I can't concentrate, then I can't win the debate tomorrow. The whole vote is dependent on me doing a good job, and All I right, look. When two people work closely for a long time, sometimes they feel what's called sexual tension. Sometimes you just have to act on impulse and get it over with. I like how she became a teacher real quick. What kind of advice was left alone? We'll start with Wendy Testaberger on the flag should be changed team. The, the, uh, <clears throat> the, the, uh, the first argument we, uh, let me start over. The, uh, Oh god, could you all excuse me for a moment? Jesus, Wendy out here hoeing? The main point we would like to make is that oftentimes it is prudent to change history. As times change, we hope to grow, and as we grow, our rules must change. It is a natural part of evolution. Thank you. <laughs> I like Cartman's reaction on that. Our main point is that the flag shouldn't offend anyone because killing has been around since the beginning of time. All animals kill, and the animals that don't kill are stupid ones, like cows and turtles and stuff. So people should not be so upset about killing. Thank you. I'm not mad because the flag shows somebody getting killed. It's because it's racist. Racist? Children, don't you even know what this argument is about? That flag is racist because a black man is being hung by white people. Yeah. Oh. 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 We didn't really see it that way. <laughs> the color of someone's skin doesn't matter. Well, of course it matters when... Oh, my God. Wait a minute. You children didn't even see the flag as a black man being hanged by white people, did you? No. Oh, my goodness. That is the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. I'm gonna what? shed a tear. What? Don't you see? <laughs> All this time, I thought these little crackers had turned racist. When actually, they were so not racist that they didn't even make a separation of black and white to begin with. All they saw when they looked at that flag was five people. Mm. I was wrong about you, but I still think the flag needs to be changed. But now I realize that I almost let racism turn me into a racist. I suddenly found myself on the side of clan members. I've never had anything against blacks, Chef. Oh, I know you don't, Jimbo. I've known you for almost 10 years. You're a good man. We've been way too divisive over this, Chef. Maybe we can come up with a compromise flag. Something that everybody can be happy with. Okay. Let's see the new flag. We've all done a lot of growing this week. Everyone was afraid to take a stand on this issue. But now we have learned once again that black, white, yellow, brown, or whatever, we are all just people. Yeah, and yeah, so, yeah. True. I am very excited to unveil our new South Park flag. Wait, I don't get it. No, see? There's people of all colors. And they added a black guy's one of the hangers, too, so it's not racist. Oh, okay. Sure. I can't believe how right Baby was about feeling under pressure with somebody. As soon as it was over, all my feelings for you just vanished. Oh, yeah, yeah, totally. Damn. I feel bad. I kind of feel bad for him. Stan, Stan, wait up! Nah, Stan, you need to dump that board. Pain. What a great episode. That ending was something is there more chef episodes because i need to watch some more great character i don't see how you could see that flag other than racist like literally how hope you enjoyed and until next time